name is Sam Wheeler and I'm currently trying to break the world speed record for motorcycles, uh, which right now stands at 376 miles an hour. The bike I currently run, we have gone 355 with it. Now we're going to double the horsepower and uh, that should make quite a difference. The aerodynamics of my particular bike are better than the current bike that has the record. Even though the current motorcycle that we're running is uh, over 20 years old, the body shape was designed a student program at California Institute of Technology just here locally in Pasadena. And aerodynamics doesn't go out of phase or doesn't get old. I mean, either it works or it doesn't. And it turns out that we have an excellent shape, a very low drag coefficient. The chassis I built myself here based on the experience I had from the other two motorcycles I had built. And it just turns out that the thing is, it was not only was it designed aerodynamically, but also stability-wise. This thing is like a dart. It's a flying machine without wings, basically. The faster you go, the more stable it gets. And at the time when we went 355, we did that with about 275 horsepower. Vance and Hines is going to produce the engines for these things, or modify the Suzuki engines for the streamliner, and uh, they're going to make 600 horsepower with it, and that's what we'll have on tap and it should be just more than enough and we're just really grateful that they're going to come on board and provide the engines for us. Even though this thing is, uh, we have the course that we run on is six miles or up to five miles to six miles where the traps are, this thing is a real drag race and to get going right away is crucial because that's your most where all your time is to accelerate once you're going say 300 miles an hour you're doing a mile in, in 10 seconds and you don't have any time so the big thing that we're going to try to do to, to be the advantage over others is a secondary transmission after the main engine uh, transmission and that's from zero to 100 miles an hour and the plan is is just to get this thing going right off the bat because that's where you have the most time. So it is a drag race for that whole five miles. Standard transmission on the motorcycle has six speeds. Now we've added this second transmission. It does make it a seven speed, but this is just from zero to a hundred. And so as soon as you get out of that range from the zero to a hundred, then you're using the, the first gear transmission in the engine, which then goes up to 180 miles an hour. In order to do, you have to do this if you're going to want to go 400 miles an hour with those other six speeds. And that's the, to me, this is the whole key to the, I think, are going to be our success. From the jack shaft back to the rear wheel, we've gone to a belt drive. And this is going to solve a lot of problems uh, as far as the, the life of the belt is going to be much greater than the, than the chain would be. The complications in doing this have just been astronomical in that we wanted to maintain the body shape, not change the wheelbase length or anything like that. So everything had to fit inside and that's been a real challenge. So, but the front part of the bike, I mean, basically the chassis is the same, front and back, but all the middle where all the drive engine and all that had to be re redone to, to make it fit inside the body. One of the biggest problems with land speed racing and going as fast as we want to go is tires. It turns out that uh, at the speed we want to go, you're almost spinning the, the rear wheel at 6,000 RPM. And re really only recently now has the tires been available just in the last year from Goodyear to make this 450 mile an hour tire. Also, when you have a tire that goes that fast, the tire pressure is up to 150 PSI, so a new wheel had to be fabricated, and that was Performance Machine provided that to us. Uh, the front tire, or what we had in the past, uh, we just never could get one made or anybody interested in making it for us. So we've taken the tire off and we've got a tireless wheel now. It's just an aluminum disc that runs right on the salt. And we have been over 350 miles an hour with that wheel. And we got it to handle very well, so we're confident that, that the, our wheel tire problem has been solved. 
Because the involvement or the tremendous amount of work that's involved to, to do this project and the length of time we have to do it, fortunately uh, Fred Fox of Parts Unlimited has come on board to, with his support and has been able to get support from his other suppliers that, that, have, that have come on board as well. And that's just made all the difference in the world to, to, to be able to get this thing done this year. Mm -hmm.